Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem in nodal analysis using the matrix method. What is nodal analysis? The explanation and other equation method available in the separate video. Link is available in the description box. You can view that videos. So in this, the problem is find the node voltage and current through various resistors for the circuit shown below. We need to find the node voltage and current flowing through all the resistor for the circuit shown below. That is the question. Now consider this diagram. So the two voltage sources available 25 volt and 100 volt. The resistors are connected. Now we need to assign the node. So this is the reference node. And this is the node 1. This is node 2. What is node 1? The node is nothing but junction point, their elements are connected together. So in the node 1, this 5 ohm, 4 ohm and 10 ohm is connected. At node 2, this 10 ohm, 2 ohm and 8 ohm is connected. What is the voltage at this node 1? That is nothing but V1. Here is V2. Right? So we have reference node and two different nodes are available. So our aim is to find this node voltage V1 and V2 by, by using the matrix method. How will you find this matrix method by applying Kirchhoff's current law I equal to V by R. So this is the current matrix. This is voltage matrix. This is resistance matrix. 1 divided by R because I equal to V by R. V divided by R so that it is 1 by R. Then how will you find this resistance matrix? What is the R11? R11 is nothing but the resistors connected at the node 1. What are the resistors connected at node 1? This 5 ohm, 4 ohm and 10 ohm. Sum of these three is nothing but the R11. 1 divided by R1 so that 1 divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 10. These three resistors are added. That is nothing but R11. R11 is the total resistors connected at the node 1. What is R12? 1 divided by R12. R12 is nothing but the resistor connected between node 1 and node 2. Between node 1 and node 2. This 10 ohm is connected between node 1 and node 2. So minus 1 by 10. So other than diagonal, we need to put the other elements are negative. So minus 1 divided by 10. What is R21? That also same. Connected between second node and first node. That is also 10 ohm. Minus 1 by 10. What is R122? That is nothing but the resistors connected at the second node. What are the resistors connected? 10 ohm, 2 ohm and 8 ohm. So 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 8. Now we frame the resistance matrix. R11 is the resistors available in node 1, these three. R22 is the resistors available in second node, these three. R21, R1, R12 is nothing but resistor connected between 1 and 2. That is this 10 ohm. Then we will go to the voltage matrix and current matrix. What is the voltage matrix? V1 and V2. This only we need to find. What is the current matrix? I1 and I2. What is the current in I1? I equal to V by R. That is 25 divided by 5 will give the current in the first node. 25 by 5. Similarly here second, 100 divided by 8. This 100 ohm directly connected to 8 ohm. So 100 divided by 8 will give the I2. So now we framed resistor matrix, voltage matrix and current matrix. Now we will go for the further simplification. So this 1 by 5 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2, 20, 10 is simplified as 20, 11 divided by 20. By taking LCM, it is simplified. Minus 1 by 10 is minus 0.1. 1 by 10 can be written as 0 0.1, minus 1, 0.1. This also minus 0 0.1. By simplifying this, we got 29 by 40. You need to take the LCM. After LCM, by simplification, we got this 20 by 29 by 40. So the 11 by 20 is nothing but 0.55. 
minus 0.01 minus 0.01 29 by 40 is nothing but 0.725 now it is further simplified v1 v2 then this 25 by 5 is 5 100 by 8 is 12.5 now we framed the matrix and then simplified also then how will you find the voltage v1 and v2 so this is nothing but delta 1 by replacing the first column with current this is called delta 1 so this is delta matrix by replacing the first column with current matrix is delta 1 by replacing the second column with current matrix is called delta 2 from delta, delta 1 and delta 2, we can easily find the V1 and V2. Now we will go for the delta. Now we will frame the delta. So this is delta. This is the resistance matrix. That is termed as delta. Need to find the determinant. How will you find the determinant? You have to multiply these two. 0.55 into 0 0.725 minus. You have to multiply these two. That is you know very well. That is the procedure for finding the determinant we need to multiply these two minus these two so here already two minus available it become positive but here one more minus available so finally it is negative so by simplifying what we got 0 0.38875 delta value is 0 0.38875 then will you find delta 1 you have to replace the first column with the current matrix current is 5 and 12.5 you have to replace the first column with current matrix is nothing but delta 1 now multiply these two find the determinant we have to multiply these two 5 into 0 0.725 minus these two minus 0.1 into 12.5 so here on two negative available so it become positive the final value is 4.875 we got the delta 1 value then how will you find delta 2 that is replacing the second column the first column as it is second column is replaced by current matrix right that will give the delta 2 then you will find the determinant 0.55 into 12.5 minus 5 into minus 0.1 so the two negative available so it become positive the final value is 7.375 the delta 2 is 7.325 now we got the delta value delta 1 and delta 2 from that how will you find v1 and v2 the formula is available v1 equal to delta 1 by del 4.875 divided by 0 0.38875 so this is the delta 1 this is delta so it give 12.54 voltage the node voltage first node voltage v1 is 12.54 voltage v2 delta 2 by 2 delta 2 divided by delta 7.375 divided by 0 0.38875 that is 18.97 voltage now we got the v1 and v2 the same problem solved by equation method the link is available in the description box you can see that so we got the same answer now we got one answer v1 and v2 we need to find current flowing through each and every resistors now we'll find the current flowing there are five resistors available we'll find one by one current flowing through the 5 ohm resistor is va minus v1 by 5 that is the resistor 5 is connected between node 1 and supply voltage so that va minus v1 by 5 so that that value by substituting VA is 25, V1 is 12.54 divided by 5, 2.492 amperes. By, by referring the diagram, you can easily identify this 5 ohm is connected between supply and first node. So that it is VA minus V1. The current flowing through 4 ohm resistor is V1 by 4 because it is connected in the node 1, V1 by 4, 12.54 divided by 4. 3.135 amperes the current flowing through the 10 ohm resistor is v1 minus v2 this 10 ohm is connected between node 1 and node 2 so that v1 minus v2 divided by 10 so 12.54 minus 18.97 divided by 10 it is minus 0 0.643 amperes this negative we got the negative value another two resistors available current flowing through 8 ohm resistor 
VB minus V2 divided by 8. So it is connected between second supply voltage and V2, second node. So that 100 minus 18.97 by 8, it is 10.12 amperes. And one more resistor, current flowing through 2 ohm resistor, V2 by 2. 18.97 divided by 2 equal to 9.48 by amperes. Now we calculated the current flowing through all 5 resistors. The course material for this for this pro, uh, uh, nodal analysis and other other topics available in your drive. The link is available in the description box. You can download the course material that is the study materials. Thank you.